Isn't it amazing up here? have taken an interest in what we're doing. Well, this game has quite the title, The Magnificent Truffle Pigs. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to a game about metal detecting. It is essentially a metal detector simulator, and these games are far and few and in between. But uh, if it's anything like, for example, Tank Mechanic Simulator, where you can go out to a field and find a large tank from World War II or wherever and uh, pull it out of the soil and bring it back and repair things, that was a pretty cool aspect of that game. But this is seemingly different. I think we're looking for answers uh, of a, some sort of a mystery while also uh, selling things and there's a whole story going on in the background. I can only maybe equate it to games like Firewatch but with its own style which is really unique and in fact this is from AMC, the people who made Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul and The Walking Dead from one of their game studios. I had no idea that AMC actually has a studio or a publisher called AMC Games. This game also has uh, real life acting in it too at some points. And as you may have seen in the trailer, yeah, that's actually quite good. I'm impressed with this. Out of nowhere, it seems, this game. I expected it just to kind of be a walk around, find things, sell them, and enjoy a chill environment. But it seems to be much more than that. So let's hope for more. This game out on June 3rd, 2021 has the description of this on Steam. The Magnificent Truffle Pigs is a first-person romantic metal detecting game. It combines laid-back detecting and exploration with strong narrative, all set in a beautiful English countryside. It's a game about trying to find something. It's a good description for it. But what else can I say other than let's go ahead and jump in without further ado. One quick second though, thank you guys for pushing this up to the 1 million subs. If you're new around here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. It is completely free to subscribe, to turn on the notification bell. And uh, of course, there's all sorts of fun and new games on the channel all the time. So don't miss out. Any additional keys for games you may have seen on the channel are going on Discord, including all the games that we've been playing in the last week, many of which I've given announcements to. So don't miss out. Let's jump in to the magnificent Truffle Pigs. Here we go. Eek. That's all I've got. Then the farm vanishes, and so does that earring. Really? Well, if you can't manage the whole week, maybe just a day or two. No, it has to be now. They start tearing the farm apart next week. I'm sure. I'm sat right outside it now. I can see the sign. No. I already tried Claire. She's away partying at a festival. Jen's in Hong Kong on business. No, you weren't the last. I just thought, you know, with, with the kids and everything. Of course not. Look, oh, I'm sorry, Sally. Forget I asked. <sighs> Jake's gone away. And... I just thought we could get the old gang back together, you know, for a bit of fun, like the old days. Oi, detecting is fun. Look, don't worry about it. I've... I've actually been thinking of asking Adam if he'd help. Yes, that Adam. Don't say it like that. You lot just never understood him and well he's never let me down jake isn't here is he besides adam's a friend nothing else and despite what you all think he is good for me 
I don't need to ask anyone else for help. Trust me, I need Adam. I shouldn't have called, not at this hour. I ignore me, speak soon, yeah? Hey, Adam, it's me. Oh, look, I, I know it's been years, but I've got myself into a situation. I don't think I can handle it. Not on my own. That unfinished business at the farm? We need to finish it. Now. Hmm, we're looking for an earring, and something's going on at the farm. Looks like one of our mutual friends, Jake, is no longer around for whatever reason. We're playing as Adam, I assume. I was right. Loud and clear. Where are you? Don't worry, I'm close by. God, you weren't kidding about getting an early start. I was hoping we might have a lazy start to the week. Grab breakfast, mooch around, get reacquainted. But no. There'll be plenty of time to do that while we detect. Good to know these things are still working. They are, which is a surprise considering how cheap and nasty they look. These were the coolest toys money could buy in 2005. Haven't we grown out of toys? Oh, chill out. They'll do the job. Claire and I once chatted all the way across the valley with him. Grab the shovel and the trowel, then head out to the fields. Hurry up. You're missing a beautiful day. All right, I'm on it. Okay. Well, there's our trow trowel and our shovel. Nice. Okay, it's beautiful so far. Definitely uh, giving me Firewatch vibes with the combos, but the uh, art style's nice. Oh, very nice. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh, isn't it amazing up here? It's incredible. These views are incredible. I'm so glad you're here, Adam. Still can't quite believe it. A whole week with no distractions. Oh, there's our metal detector. Your detector's over by the gatepost. Right by the fields, you'll be scouring first. <laughs> Did someone drive like Austin Powers to park this car like this? Who parks like that? Invisible wall, obviously, but still hilarious. Also, I've turned the uh, size of the subtitles up a little bit for those who may have difficulty reading that or whatnot. So uh, they can be a little bit smaller, but I've made them a little bit Just bigger. Switch it on. Like crazy and light up. Uh, tell me more. And then what? That's it. Just turn it on and everything will make sense. You make it sound idiot proof. Oh, guess we'll soon find out. Touche. Oh, we're gonna have fun this week. Now, serious for a second. I usually work in straight lines rather than randomly walking around. It's easier that way. Okay, you're the boss. For once, I'm not the boss. Now, let's see what you can find. Using the detector, press E to turn on and off the detector. Okay. Uh, how does this work? Oh, I see. Okay. So the white bars up top are showing exactly where he's uh, holding the detector. Is there anything buried near this stuff? Well, let's try this. I worked out some techniques in some other games where it's just a good idea to run, walk a little bit and then put the detect... Wait. That looks suspicious. Oh, okay. Then to put the detector down. So we might find something in a moment or two. Oh. Speaking of the devil. There we go. You found something. It's underground, so you'll need to dig it up. Okay. Dig with the shov the shovel. And cue to dig with the trowel. So apparently we're, we're, we're looking for some sort of ring or something. Oh, there we go. Our first find. Hey, nice. Steam achievement, too. Uh, 
don't know what that is. A coin of some sort, but I don't know the denomination. Probably a British pound, though. Ooh, press left click to take a photo. My first find. And it's money. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, wow. Good work. Thank you, Beth. Please send me a photo. Okay. Oh, you want a photo of the coin. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. Well, there you go. Hey, a penny's a great first find. Penny? But we'll find something way more impressive before this week's out. You I thought that was a quarter. That? You scoured this place as a kid. Not much has happened here since. We could go anywhere, but you insist on staying here and standing. I don't get it. Come on, you know why. That earring? The best thing I ever found. The other one is definitely here, and I want to find it. That earring? You can't be sure the other one's here. It is. Always has been. Don't care what anyone else says. Last time, it wasn't just a lucky find, you know. You're not going to drop it, are you? This obsession of yours. <laughs> that earring changed my life. Okay, I was only a kid, but it changed everything. It still makes me smile thinking about it. The money seemed like a lottery win back then. And being in the papers, being the centre of attention. It was nice. You, we could have done this years ago. Why now? I asked Farmer Hobbs so many times, but he always said no. Maybe he thought he could find the other earring for himself. But not this time. Well, he couldn't really, could he? Not now that he's dead. Just when you were starting to think the day would never come, he goes and dies. Surprised you didn't help him on his way. Oi! No! It wasn't like that. He passed away. His hair sold up. And next week, they start installing a solar farm. So this is it. The last chance for more fame and fortune. It's the last chance to find that earring. I don't care about the money or being in the news again. No, I just want to... Oh, it felt so good last time. I don't think I've ever been as happy. But we should crack on. Just in case the builders arrive early and turf us off. You mean, I'm not supposed to be here? No, oh, relax, Adam. <clears throat> so we're looking for another earring. Apparently when she found it the first time it was in the papers and she got really famous off of it. Hey, I've drawn a map for each field. I like to mark locations where I found something. And it's handy. If you put your detector down, wander off and okay. Using the map, press M. Well, that disappeared quickly, but okay. So we just went into the field there. There's the wrecked barn. So it looks like there's two main fields to look at right now. And there's a few rocks and such around that have fences around them too. Okay. Well, let's check over here. Couldn't hurt to check next to the barn to see if there's anything. Ooh, oh, there was... Nope, oh, it picked up something there. It turned green. There we go. Well... All you got to do, I guess, is think like a, a video game. Often uh, go back to areas that you've been before you reached an item, that type of thing. That is a frisbee? Oh, it's a pin. A child's pin. Okay. Or reading books, I think. Uh, then the award to weirdest merch goes to... Uh, the 70s were... Osh with crappy badges. Okay. They often close that phone pretty quickly. So it seems to be a good idea to walk around, press E at random, look f to see if the uh, metal detector turns green, and then just keep on walking. We might miss things that way, but it's a lot easier than just walking at a snail's pace. This is basically as fast as we can go with the uh, metal detector deployed. Let's check next to the barn just in case. So we're looking for earrings, but why? Looks like we could get out here and check next to the barn on this side. Now, there's also builders, it seems like, that are going to smash this place. So it's definitely going to the highest bidder already. I'm not exactly sure what all will be built here, but it's a pretty large place. OK, 
Okay, nothing over there. All right, so it looks like the best place to wander right now is between the two fields. And it looks like we have something. Oh, I definitely found something here. Uh, we're onto something, but it's not letting me dig it up. Let's try to approach it again. There we go. Guess it just didn't register the first time. Okay, dig, and let's see what we got. That looks like a coffee. Oh, it's a ceramic. No, metal. Some sort of metal. Okay, unlock it maybe. Or half of one. I can see the hinge there. Okay. No photo though, or maybe that maybe that is a face in there. Faded though. I think I can see a face. Uh, my first bit of jewelry. It doesn't look great. What do you think? I'm zooming in on your photo. Hold on. Looks like half a sweetheart locket. Not precious. Nah, sorry. Just some cheap metal. And it's broken. Literally a broken heart. Speaking of broken hearts. Are you and Jake over? Did you and Jake split? Wow, dive right in, why don't you? Sorry, it's just strange seeing you without him. He's gone away with his annoying rugby friends for a few days. That's all, I'll be back soon. Maybe you should text him. Let him know he's missing out on all this fun, right? Maybe. Idea how much he's gonna miss out on. Hmm. Okay. It's annoying that we can't walk. He won't pick up the uh, metal detector during those cutscenes, so we can't keep looking for stuff. <clears throat> All right. Well, we got a ways to go. Could happen at any moment that we find something. So we'll keep on wandering around. I will say though, this is extremely peaceful and very relaxing. Found another thing. And this time it is a bottle cap. Oh. Just a bottle cap. Guess farming is thirsty work. Okay, let's keep looking. So it seems like a good idea to stick to their plan of uh, going in straight lines and then working their way back and forth. Essentially what we can do now is just kind of mow the lawn where we uh, go back and forth down the pathway here. And it seems like more areas will open up. Like, for example, that red car that was around seemed to be blocking one of the areas. Take a look at the map again. Hey, I forgot to ask. Is your detector working okay? Oh. I think so. Why? Oh, it's my old one. The battery can be a bit temperamental. Your old one? You mean I've got your cast off? <laughs> yeah, afraid so. Hmm. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I am still going to find more than you. I seem to forget I'm a pro. You might have a flashy detector, but I have got a lucky one. You found the earring with this one, right? I did. But that wasn't anything to do with the detector, just me and my hard work. Well, I guess whoever finds the most this week wins. <laughs> I like your ambition. Maybe we'll make a truffle pig of you yet. <laughs> what? The, a, a, a truffle pig? Oh, blame Dad. He started calling me a truffle pig because I could sniff treasure through all the mud. Oh, I love that nickname. 
It became our gang name too. Me, Claire, Sally, Jen. We were the Truffle Pigs. Our detectors too. That's Truffle Pig One you're holding. You named your metal detector Truffle Pig? Oh, no, hold on. I'm beeping. What? Did you find something else? No. Oh, this false alarm. It was my crazy person detector going off because it overheard you calling your detector Truffle Pig. Ah, oh, funny. Anyway, you already knew I was crazy. I think that's why you agreed to come here. Lured to an isolated farm by a crazy woman. And only one of them will leave. <laughs> I'm sure one of the Truffle Pig t-shirts Dad had made for us is still in my attic. I should dig it out. I hope you're not expecting me to be seen in one of those. Mm, no, I think you're safe on that count. Uh, what? What just happened? Oh. Looks like if you look at landmarks, they'll take pictures and stuff. What about the wind turbines? So, two giant wind turbines have just been erected. Where are you going with this? Well... If I'm a big metal minute. fan. Is it? I'm a big metal fan. Just been installed. Big metal fan. The big first metal one fan. thinks, "Oh, we're going to be neighbors for years. I should break the ice." So it turns to the other one and says, "Hey, uh, what kind of music are you into?" And the second wind turbine says, "I'm a huge metal fan." That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Don't give up the day job. <laughs> Right now, this is my day job. <laughs> Tragic. Uh, I, I like it, though. Unfortunately, we can't do stuff while they're interacting, which is a little annoying. It's hands-off at that point, but still not bad. So it looks like if we look at landmarks, they'll chat with each other. So that could give us uh, more to the story. Uh, I think we walk down this way. What is this piece of equipment? All right, let's keep on trucking. Want to break for lunch? Your detector must almost be out of juice. We can recharge it. Uh, not but yet. Let's carry on for a little while. Okay. Let's see how long that thing lasts. I want to try to find one more thing. There we go. Okay, we got something. Ooh, I can already see it. A... Oh. It's like a um, hinge or a... Some sort of a... Sh yeah, a shelf, I was going to say. A bracket is what they call it, but... Hmm... A dud. Uh oh, battery's running low. Okay, looks like my battery finally died. Right, let's break for lunch. See you at the car. Last one back smells. Okay, you got it. This car is going to be so muddy by the end of the week. And try not to get crumbs everywhere. Wow, you really love your car, don't you? Uh-huh. So, how was your first morning of detecting? I think it was brilliant. It's fun, and I'm loving being outside. Thanks for inviting me. No worries. The golden treasure we'll find will be a nice bonus. Are we going to pretend nothing's happened? What? It's been so long and you're just pretending we've never been apart. That nothing's wrong. Um, okay. Well, how's life been since we last saw one another? Shouldn't I be asking you questions? Like, why am I even here? And how come you're not at work? Your job always seemed to come before everything else. You were obsessed with it. I was. I, I am. But... 
but... I've been working like crazy lately. I thought I'd see how Muddalot survives without me. If you insist. Muddalot. It's such a silly name. <laughs> Mom asked me what I liked, and I said, I like mud. A lot. <laughs> oh, I wish she was still here to see what she created. Her little outdoor equipment company. It's an empire now. We're the biggest employer in the valley, you know. Stanning would die on its ass without mud a lot. And when Dad retires, it's going to become your empire? Yup. Well, Dad'll probably put me in charge. I mean, I'm the eldest. Arguably the smartest. The most modest mud -a -lot sister. Absolutely. Definitely the best at tree climbing. <laughs> you remembered. But yes, all of those things. Perfect CEO material. It must be mine, right? Uh, are you sure? And you're sure about that? As good as. I know Dad's been impressed, always saying how proud he is. So yeah, I'm sure that's been his plan. But you've never discussed it. What if you're wrong? <laughs> I've been there longer than Lucy. It wouldn't make sense not to. And your dad agrees? Okay, dad hasn't said out loud, but it's always been the plan that I'd take over. You know, I thought we had plans once. We were a team, till you ditched me. Forgot all about me. That's not fair, Adam. Or true. I never forgot about you. I never wanted you to go. I... I had to. Well, I'm here now. But you still haven't said why. Are we ever going to discuss it? Why I'm really here? We're here to find that earring. Not sit here eating sandwiches and Jaffa cakes all day. Jaffa cakes. We should be fully nice. dressed again now. Come on, back to it. All right, back to it then. So definitely a calm sense of storytelling, but now that we uh, met with her... Oh, okay, the car is still in the same spot, so I'm assuming the map will open up when we find more things. We can see a field which looks to be to the east, a field to the north, a field east of that, and another field to the south, and possibly southeast of that. Now that's just a little drawing from her, so there's probably more to this than just this area. So let's go um, check back here. I don't think we were able to go back here before. Was this was this closed? Hmm. Hmm, butterfly. Alright, let's go look around. I think this did open up because I don't remember, but anyway, we'll keep looking around. I'm assuming they'll say the day has ended based on all the stuff that we find. Or at least we hit lunch because we found a certain number of items. That's probably how we progress. Okay, grab that with the shovel, and let's dig deep. We have ourselves a... I'm going to guess a pocket watch. Oh, model car. Cool. I didn't uh, even see what was in there. I'm just guessing. Even I know what this is. Toy cars catch a, fee catch a decent price or fee. Nice find. Sadly... They're only valuable if they're pristine and boxed. Oh. A fancier model of car would help too. But you're definitely getting the hang of this. Speaking of fancy cars, I noticed yours is a bit flash. Which is totally you. What do you mean? You never drive further than mud a lot. It takes two minutes, but you just had to have the flashiest car in the village. Hey, I work like crazy. I'm allowed to treat myself. I worked hard for that car. Treat yourself is a box that you only use to drag yourself from home to work. One day I will go on a road trip. You can come too, but I might make you catch the bus for being mean. Fine by me. Anyway, I like buses. Being with other people, watching the world goodbye. Yeah? And what about the weirdo you 
always get on buses, chatting away to themselves. <laughs> oh, wait! You are the weirdo! Oh, you think I'm the weirdo? Yeah, I'm just a YouTuber, ma'am. I don't know you. Okay, then. Okay, where were we? Uh, let's work towards the farmhouse. Okay, we're making our way. Ah, uh, we're already on to something. More digging. So I'm going to go with compass this time. And it is another coin. Ooh, a Roman coin, I think. Cool, I found a coin. Is it enough to retire on? Nope. They're pretty common. Damn. Sorry. Keep looking. Oh, uh, well. I eh, would probably get a couple bucks from it. Or pounds, I guess, in this case. A little bit more to go. We gotta be close. There we go. Okay, let's back up and we'll come up on it again. There we go. And this time we have ourselves a spaceship, I think. I'm going to guess. A little toy spaceship. Oh, it's a lock. Oh, um. Oh, just like a tie of some sort. Like a metal spike for wires or cables. Looks like a, a tent peg to me. Yeah, that's about right. It's years since I've been camping. But you, at one point, it seemed like you lived in a tent. <laughs> I pretty much did when I was a kid. I'm just so busy now. Can't remember the last time. But I should just jump in the car and find somewhere nice to pitch up. With Jake? It'd be cozy, just the two of you. Far away from work and the stress. I guess I've just got into the habit of working, like, all the time. Weekends are, well, they're not really weekends. Hmm. But it's all part of growing up. True. Being an adult, I guess. True. Says who? The Beth I used to know would take being in a field over being sat at a desk any day. Yeah? That Beth used to like banana sandwiches or the smell of bonfires on her clothes. <laughs> Face it, we've moved on. What? You don't like those things anymore? Those are two awesome things. So I'm looking at the uh, walkie-talkie, too, as we're going around. It seems like there's two bars left. So I'm thinking that that's the game's subtle way of showing you progression. So if we find a certain number of items, I think it gives you, like, RNG of, you know, finding something that's very important. So, like, for example, the next item we find could be a, a very important um, piece to the story. So we could be out here for hours and hours. Very, again, very peaceful. It's pretty cool. I, I like the whole story thing because, to be honest, it seems like it'd be more playable than once rather than uh, just doing it for money and, like, upgrading and going through the whole, you know, upgrade your metal detector, upgrade your battery, you know, upgrade your shovel, that kind of thing. Not that that's bad, but this is just a, a, just a more enjoyable experience, I think. And we are close to another one. Okay, shovel in. Get that uh, truffle going. And we have ourselves a sheriff badge. What the hell? An American style one. Weird. A toy sheriff's badge. Funny how we teach kids to aspire to certain jobs, dot, dot, dot. Gives them something to aim for. Oh, <laughs> the jokes. Or brainwash them into judging people by doing the job they do. It's a toy. It's harmless. Yeah, that's true. They're trying to hit it with a deep sentimental. But, alas, it's just a toy. Alright, hopefully we can find one more. We'll go around the outside this time. Come on. Ha! 
Oh, oh. There we go. And what do we have this time? A bottle. And it is a... I... Oh, it's a hairpin, I think. A uh, rusty old hair clip. Looks like you could have dropped it here last time you were here. Oh, yeah. Whoa, ma'am. Surrounded by cows. Yep, you have got a strange idea of romance, Beth. <laughs> and speaking of hair, I almost didn't recognize you this morning. Were you expecting me to still have those ponytails? Actually, I've just had it restyled. What do you think? I mean, I haven't even seen you, but... Uh... Yeah, I like it. I mean, I'm no expert, but it suits you. Thanks. I was getting a bit bored with old me, so I just had it caught on a whim. Old you? I just felt like I needed to, I don't know, become something else. I'm not sure a new haircut can do that, but it looks great. She's becoming a werewolf, I guess I confirmed. Look a bit different now, too. You look exactly how I imagined you would. Okay, that's enough hair chat. Go and find me something. Ideally, something more exciting than a hair clip. Okay. Let's see if we can do one more. You know, I'm surprised the game is pretty hands-off with you uh, doing any sort of metal detecting. It gives you a map and kind of teaches you how things work, but really no explanation on the stuff, which is pretty cool. We went around here. I wonder if it changed. If things can secretly move around. Yeah, where was that last item? Okay, I'm going to try to go this way a bit then. Turns out it was the right move. There we go. All right, time to dig again, 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 again. And this time, another bottle cap. Ah, darn. I think we're going to find a copy of Winrar that has actually been uh, claimed by the owner. Somebody actually bought a copy. Battery's dying on our phone. Uh, I sh... One shook Lucy's bottle and it sprayed everywhere. No matter how much you... Okay. I was stuck in my own world. One thing about this game is it is a little pushy with the conversations and the decisions. Like sometimes it approves decisions before I have a, ch a chance to actually review them. When it comes to voice acting back to the actress. Uh, or responding. But maybe it doesn't have any... Maybe it just doesn't matter. Okay, where are we now? All right, let's go down this way, along the fence. Keep it parallel on our right side if we can. There we go. Getting good at this, boys. Ah, another pin. Safety pin. Uh, big punk rock scene. Not sure if you're joking or not. Oh, it's a nappy what? Bin. Now the battery's refilled. Place. Before all these disposable elasticated nappies, I used to pin them. Who changed a nappy in a field? The farmer and his wife. Mrs. Hobbs. Oh, remember when she vanished? The baby, too. I remember all the mums gossiping about it. After that, Farmer Hobbs more or less lived like a recluse. Where did she go? No one knows. I mean, there were rumours. The school swirled with theories. 
A woman and her kids vanish, and we're just brushing it off as rumours and gossip. <laughs> oh, we were kids with overactive imaginations. It was probably just your regular run-of-the-mill divorce. Breakups happen all the time, but <laughs> people love to gossip and speculate. Indeed they do. Indeed they do. Hmm. So the walkie-talkie seemed to refill, so maybe that puts a hole in my theory. Ready to wrap up for the day? Uh, yes, please. I want a break. Yep, I need a hot shower and a nail brush. <laughs> Me too. We've covered a lot of ground today. Well done. Oh, I've loved having you here. Can't hang around, though. Got to check out a venue for the wedding reception. The wedding? Oh, I thought... What, you asking me back here, Jake being away, is it still going ahead? <sighs> yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it? Jake's never been around when it comes to wedding stuff, has he? Doesn't mean anything. And you know what I'm like. Can't wait for him to make his mind up. And wedding planning really isn't his thing. Still can't believe you're getting married. Like I said, I'm getting on with life. Nothing and no one is going to stop me. Come on, I'll meet you back at the car. Okay, I'm coming. Tuesday. Keep your eyes peeled. For what? Morning. Different fields today. We'll try somewhere new each day. Cover as much ground as possible. It's all going to be down to luck anyway. Luck? No, it's all about planning and hard work. And will I see a bit more of you today? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be close by. And we'll be talking a lot. Oh, and keep an eye out for a bangle. Mrs. Havers from the post office collared me, asking what I was up to. Turns out she lost a bangle here years ago. Is there a reward? Dunno. She got a bit teary-eyed talking about it. Her husband bought her it. Anyway, I doubt we'll find it. Happy hunting! Speak soon! Thank you. Wow. What a nice lady. So where are we at now? Oh, just another blank field. Okay, so we're east of the farm buildings, I believe. A pretty big farm. A lot of distance here. On the other side of this valley. What an absolutely gorgeous map. I like it a lot. This is a game that I want to play more when I have some more uh, chill time. This is an ultra, ultra chill game with a good story so far. At least it's got me interested. It's nice to hear the characters chat. The voice actors are good. And I like the concept. And not to mention it's from AMC, so hopefully they make some more games. Actually, I, I guess I have seen their games before. i just kind of forgotten all about them as a publisher. Well, that is going to be it for our first look at Magnificent uh, Truffle Pigs, available on June 3rd, 2021 on Steam. Go ahead and pick it up today, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, I see you're leaving the video. Okay, have a good day. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Ever fancy doing this? God, yes. Muddalot makes the wings for those things. I see them every day. Isn't that even more reason to get up there? You've watched them for all these years and never done it. Or are you scared or something? scare that easily. I'll do it one day. In fact, Jake and I were booked in to do it, but we had to cancel. I can't remember why. You mean you chickened out? No! Maybe Jake got cold feet? Whatever else Jake is, he's not a chicken. Wasn't it his do-anything attitude you fell for? And his good looks. <laughs> You are so shallow, Beth. Guilty. Oh, look at him go, drifting away. And so am I. Take care, everyone. Have a good day. See you next time.